Hi everybody. Uh, today I am talk about uh, Spotlight used in Unreal Engine. If you go to the website dot uh, Unreal Engine Spotlight in Unreal Engine, you will find a page like this, and there uh, they show basic understanding of Spotlight. So here uh, the Spotlight emitter lights from a single point of cone shape. Users are given two cones uh, to shape the light, the inner cone and the outer cone. So, so uh, you use uh, both uh, cone to shape the light. So, like other light, uh, it have also three mobility setting like static, uh, stationary, and movable. You can compare the uh, uh, spotlight uh, with uh, flashlight and stage light. Uh, so, static uh, it cannot be changed in game, and uh, fastest method to render. And stationary uh, means uh, shadow and bouncing. I get from uh, geometry bath light and other thing will be dynamic and movable is uh, full dynamic so here you can uh, see the cone radius on one side and on the other, other side you don't have uh, see the cone radius so a uh, spotlight have uh, other light same property like other except uh, inner cone and outer cone property and light function uh, light mesh everything is same so here is our scene If we go to the unlit mode, you can see everything without the light. Also, you can see the only light option. We have don't we don't have any light, so you don't see any light. Now from Windows and place uh, actor. Uh, it can place the light here from here also you can uh, place the light from right button place actor and it's for light also you can place uh, the light from here there is a light option so this is the spotlight and if we go the lit mode you can see the light you can also see uh, light in only option You can change the location, you can change the location on XYZ, you can change the rotation, sometimes it doesn't matter. You can change the scale, but it doesn't matter. There is a mobility, three mobility, static, stationary, movable. There is the inner cone and outer cone. We can add the inner cone. Uh, first of all, inner cone is zero. There is nothing here. But if you give value, you can see there is a uh, inside a cone that is shaping its form when we up the value. So the inner cone and outer cone have a combination of them. You can see. You can change the value here like that. And there is also source radius. You can see the reflection light is getting big. On the zero value, it's very small. There is a soft uh, source radius, and there is a source length. You see it in uh, point light. The same function have in spotlight also. And there is use temperature. If it's up to six thousand five hundred, it will be a little bluish. Otherwise, it will be like uh, reddish. There is a reflected world. The light will be off. So there is a class shadow for showing the class shadow. I just uh, add a cube in here. You can see the shadow of the cube. And if we select the light and if we deselect the class shadow, there the shadow is gone. You can see it. Now shadow is bad. Delete it. There is a inner light in intensity. You can see the uh, outside color is increased. Uh, let me show you very clearly. 
increase the intensity and decrease the light indirect light intensity and if you up you can see the uh, blue tone so that's uh, the inside light intensity do we can change the color we can increase the intensity the real intensity uh, there is a attenuation radius if we increase it uh, the radius will be uh, very high and if we decrease it it it's will be very low make it top now we can see uh, what attenuation radius to we can uh, deep or soft or hard the light color there is other advanced option but we don't need it uh, we need it but uh, not uh, for beginners so that's the function we can if we go the unlit mode we can add few meshes uh, uh, from starter content there is a lamp there is a lamp ceiling we can use it as a uh, point light not that we don't need it now at the spotlight and make it up to the lamp ceiling it's uh, just for testing purpose Uh, we can make it uh, like the light here it will look like this if we go to the top mode and select both lamp ceiling and spotlight and make it the middle of the room and by alter and mouse left button if we drag uh, we can clear the light we can change the color so you can use a spot like this a spotlight like this uh, we can also add a point light usually uh, interior room design like that using both uh, spotlight and point light and rear light also directional light and uh, the we can make a very beautiful interior lighting so we can add a, a lamp wall we can and make it look like a point light yes so this is how you can make beautiful of your room we can change uh, uh, beautiful lighting so this is for today's tutorial uh, see you in next tutorial